the co-chairpersons meet to discuss and write the required letters so that the joint bipartisan talks can continue. With regard to interference in Jubilee, the Kenya Kwanza has indicated willingness to commit in writing to respect the ruling of the political parties disputes tribunal, confirming the Jubilee Party leadership. They have no offers on lowering of the cost of living because they are married to the finance bill and we have a plan for the bill. The PG has noted the two concessions made by Kenya Kwanza. It is, however, it is, however, the view of the parliamentary group that those concessions are not good enough to allow us to return to the talks. It is, our, it is also our position that the finance bill as presently crafted must be withdrawn and replaced by a bill that appreciates the suffering of the people, the suffering the people of Kenya are going through. The bill must be withdrawn in totality and be reintroduced afresh in a manner that is sensitive to the plight of the poor Kenyans. Indeed, the Azimio MPs have resolved to sign a public pledge to oppose the bill, awaiting its withdrawal. Indeed, many other MPs, other than those from Mazimio, are equally prepared to do this. It is our resolution that other than merely committing not to interfere in the affairs of other parties, Kenya Kwanza must agree that all Jubilee MPs and indeed any other MPs who have defected to Kenya Kwanza, in essence, have to face by elections in line with the constitution of Kenya. Until all these are agreed upon, the joint bipartisan talks remain suspended. Kenya Kwanza has up to midnight today to comply.